Last night, during the opening competition of judo, the most honored guest was Dr. Matsumai, president of the International Judo Federation. What he and 4,000 other spectators saw was a test in courage and perseverance. Ed Liddy was in the bronze medal match with Guy Devon of France. In this weight category, the United States was not predicted to win a medal. Son of a police judo instructor, 25-year-old Ed Liddy, had only the slightest of odds in his favor as he entered the competition last night. Early in the match, the Frenchman scored the first of his two Cocas. There it is. Now, a Coca is the smallest score in judo. It does not accumulate during a match, but it can win a match if it is the only kind of point scored. Later on, with only 2.20 left in the five-minute match, Ed Liddy could see his chances for a medal begin to fade away. Both men accidentally butted heads. Liddy was stunned, and he fell to his back. As you can see in the replay, the butt was ever so slight, but enough to knock Liddy to the mat. Everything seemingly was working against him. Then, with less than one minute on the clock, and the action intense, Liddy scored what is called a yuko. Here it comes. There it is. A yuko now is worth more than a coca, and is enough to win a match. Ed Liddy could see a glimmer of hope left on the horizon, and the crowd could certainly appreciate Ed's timing in this match. The clock began its slow countdown. Both Ed and the crowd could sense victory. Victory in a sport that has long been dominated by the Asians. And there it was. Until last night, Americans had only won two previous medals in the Olympic sport of judo. Ed Liddy's bronze became an exciting third. And his enthusiasm and skill, hopefully, will spur the American.